क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर कौशिक कॉरपोरेशन हैज परचेज अ मशीन फॉर रुपीज वन लैक ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड ऑन वन फोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द कैरेज इंस्टॉलेशन एक्सपेंसिज ऑफ मशीन वॉज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड द रिपेयरिंग एक्सपेंसिज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इनकर बिफोर पुटिंग दिस मशीन फॉर प्रोडक्शन सो दिस ऑल अबाउट द फर्स्ट मशीन एंड ऑन वन टेन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन दैट इन बिटवीन ऑफ द ईयर सेकेंड मशीन हैव बिन परचेज ऑन वन लैक थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड its installation expenses was of rupees 8000 first machine was sold on 39 2014 now here first machine is going to be sold in between of the month in between of the year within a uh, with 40% loss of book value they told to prepare machinery account up to 31st march 2015 and accounting effect in annual account that is for 2012 and 13 so it might be for the one year only the first year so company provide depreciation 10% every year under straight line method so as per the question all the information first i wrote like this for the first machinery all the information has been written for the second machinery with date it's written over here now first machine was sold at 40% loss on 39 2014 Here we are going to prepare these two accounts, and this is the method by straight line method. So before we go further, first we'll calculate the first machine's price. So here the main amount of the purchase of machine one lakh twenty four thousand plus sixteen thousand plus twenty thousand. So it will be it will be one lakh sixty thousand. So that's the purchase price of the machine, and if I calculate first. machine depreciation which will be calculate on 160000 with on 10 person so it would be 16000 check the date it's a 1st april 2012 to 12 to 12 months it has been used so for this first we'll make an opening balance over here in the machinery account by writing the date 1 4 to 2012 to bank account that would be the main value of the machinery account that is 124000 then another extra expenses for the purchase of machine which will be written as a cash account which is 16 plus 20 36000 so here we purchased at the end of the year that is 31st march 13 by depreciation account and the straight line method so it is 16000 if we make a total of both the side here we'll find out 1 lakh 60000 and here 16000 so this one is more we we'll write down both the side by writing 1 lakh 60000 at both the side and going to minus with the 16000 here we get the balance of 1 lakh 44000 that will be declared as a balance Here, that is closing balance of for the year thirty first March two thousand thirty. So here we finish first year. Moving to the next year, which would be first April two thousand thirteen, the closing balance of last year will become opening balance for the next year. So balance brought forward with the amount one lakh forty four thousand. At the end of the year thirty first March two thousand thirteen. Here we calculate depreciation for the first machinery, which will be continue with the sixteen thousand under straight line method. Before we move further, let's check on one ten two thousand thirteen. Second machine is going to be purchased with the main amount one lakh thirty six thousand and the installation charge is eight thousand, which will come under this year. So as we are purchasing, we'll give entry on the debit side with the date one ten two thousand thirteen. to bank account with the amount 1 lakh 36000 110213 to cash account that is the extra expenses while purchasing second that is 8000 so here we give entry for the second machinery now it has been purchased on 110 so this the company have used it for the second machinery Here one lakh thirty one lakh thirty six thousand plus eight thousand. The total cost price of the second machinery is one lakh forty four thousand. 
so here we'll write down first one lakh forty four thousand which is going to calculate on ten percent but remember this has been purchased on one ten two thousand thirteen to thirty first march two thousand forty we have to calculate from october november december january february march so it has been used only for six months as we are calculating on cost price only and it is under straight line method but we will calculate for six months so here we will get an amount it is 7200 so that depreciation will also be recorded here we will write down the first machine and on 31st march 2000 it's a 14 or 30 so by depreciation for the second machinery for this year only for the six month it has been used will be 7200 so here we finish another year let's make a total of this you will find it is 288000 and obviously this side is less so we'll write down both both the side 288000 and get minus with this 23200 a total of 16 plus 7200 is 23200 the 23200 ko minus kar do 288000 mein so here you will get the difference of 264800 which will be declared for this year 31st march 2014 ka closing balance so balance cf moving to the next year that is on 1st april 2014 to balance brought forward with the amount 264800 as an opening balance for the next year now here again we'll calculate depreciation but before we calculate depreciation just check that first machine is going to be sold at 40 percent loss on 30 september so we are not going to calculate depreciation till 31st march for the first machine depreciation depreciation for the first machine which is going to be sold so going to be calculated on 30 september 2014 for the first machine so let's calculate we will take the same 16,000 as it is the straight line method. We will amount ko continue this amount. But we are giving it to 6 months. So from for the first machine depreciation before sold will be 1,60,000. Take the 10% of it. But going to be sold on September ye September ko bech denge to yahan pe hum calculate karenge from the 1st April 2014 to 30 September 2014 so April, May, June, July, August, September so here comes for the 6th month so this would, this would be our 8000 depreciation for the first machinery so first machinery ke liye hamara depreciation hoga let's see 8000 next now we are going to sell this first machinery so first we'll find out the value of the first machinery at the time here is the calculation of the first machinery on 1st April 2012 when we purchased it was 1,60,000 on 31st March 2013 depreciation has been minus the value remained 1,44,000 which was the opening balance for the next year for 1,4,2013 the value of first machinery becomes 1,44,000 and again at the end of the year depreciation has been minus the value remained 1,28,000 so the next year 1st April 2014 before selling the value of machine was 128000 before sale of the on 30 September the depreciation has been minus so here remain the value of the first machinery is 120000 so on 120000 will remove 40% uh, loss the so first will take 120000 remove 40% of it you will get 48,000 
and as this is the loss we are going to make it minus so the selling value of machine will be 72000 so that would be the sales value which will be go written as a bank on the credit side of the machinery account so here we will write down 30 September the selling machinery of machine uh, of the first machine was 72,000 and as we face a loss remember plus and the minus the loss will be written over here so 30 September 2014 here I am writing profit and loss account loss of amount 48,000. So here we complete only about the first machinery. Still we have to write down the second machinery depreciation which will be on 31st March 2015. So here we write down the depreciation for the second machinery. Now for the second machinery we use from 1st April till 31st March. So for the second machinery depreciation will be take the cost price of the second machinery because this time we are going to use it for the full year before we did that was only for the six month so again we are going to remove 10 percent on cost price 12 month out of 12 month it would be 14,400 so that is going to be recorded as a second machine depreciation in the second year which would be 14,400 so here we finish with the opening and these all three related to the first machinery which is going to be sold on loss and that is the second machinery depreciation. So let's make a total now for both the side. Here I found 2,64,800 and on credit side I found 1,42,400 which is comparatively less than 2,64,800 so we'll write down 2,64,800 at both the side and get minus with the 1,42,400 you will get the difference of 1,22,400 which would be the closing balance of the machinery account balance C. So here we complete the machinery account up to 31st March 2015. Next is the annual account effect for the 2012 and 13. If we check 2012 and 13 that is the only first machinery was there with us with for the purchasing. This has been purchased in the next year. Second year we purchased was for 2012 and 13 we were having only one machine. So here we will write down. First profit and loss account for the year ending on 31st March 2013. Balance sheet as on 31st March 2013. So here we are ready. First we will write down the asset which was there with us. It was only the machinery of amount 1,60,000 where we will remove the depreciation of 16,000. The value remain outside is 1,44,000. And another entry of the depreciation will be shown on the profit and loss account debit side by writing to depreciation on machinery that is 16,000. So here we complete the question number 4. If you need a calculation for the first machinery sold out value that is loss. If you have any queries, please let me know.